Hello and welcome to the first installment of the Worldwide Market Video White Paper. The topic of today's video white paper is going to be MT4 Tips and Tricks. Recently Worldwide Markets put out a white paper through its social media channels and email giving you guys some tips on how to use your MetaTrader 4 platform. We figured a better way to present this information would be in video format. So we're going to get started here with the first tip on the list is using the crosshair function. Uh, this is a good way to measure the amount of pips between two points. So you're going to click on the crosshair and then you're going to move your mouse around and find the first point and then hold your left mouse button down and then move it to your second point. The three numbers that you see here, the first one being 110, that is the amount of candles between these two points. So there's 110 candles between point A and point B on the chart. 236 being the second number is the amount of pips between the two points. And the third number that you see is the price where the crosshair lines up. So this is always a good tool if you're trying to measure distances between support and resistance or you know, head and shoulders chart patterns or whatever. Uh, price action you're trying to measure. Your crosshair tool is the best way to do that. The second tip on the list is how to use the favorites section of your MetaTrader 4 platform. As you can see there's a lot of indicators to choose from. You probably don't use all of them. So let's say one of your favorite indicators to use is MACD. Simply left click on it once, right click, and then go to add to favorites and then you can see here that it moves to this favorites tab. It wasn't common, now it's in favorites, so then you don't have to get bogged down with all the other indicators and scripts and expert advisors. You just have your go-to stuff in this quick favorites list. You can also add expert advisors, custom indicators, and scripts all to your favorites simply by right-clicking and going to add to favorites and then it shows up in this list. Very quick and easy to use. The third tip on our list is our account history tip. Uh, usually as a trader I do recommend that everybody go over all of their old trades on a weekly or monthly basis and an easy way to do this is simply going into your account history tab in your MetaTrader 4 platform and dragging your trades onto the chart. Now what this is going to do is it's going to show you an entry point and an exit point. So you'll be able to see the trade and the history of the trade and what the market did in between so you can get an accurate look of what happened and maybe see where you went wrong or you, where you went right so you can duplicate that for future trades. The fourth tip on the list is how to make a template. So let's add a couple of indicators here and then we'll make a template and show you how to use that. So if you have a trading strategy that you use and you know, you're know you using the same trading strategy on a bunch of different charts, you know, sometimes it can be a hassle to add the same indicators over and over again to 10 or 12 charts. So the easiest thing to do is make a template. You add the indicators that you wanna see on your charts. You right click anywhere in this open black space you go to template, you go to save template, you name it whatever you want to name it, you hit save. You're going to open a new chart, right click once again in the black space, go to template, go to load template or you can find it on this list, click it and now you're going to see our moving average and our MACD added very easily to the chart. Uh, this makes it very convenient for you, especially if you're working with three, four, or five indicators and you need to add that to 15 or 20 charts. It's simply just a couple of clicks for each chart and then you don't have to sit there and adjust the settings. So if you change the settings of the indicators, those settings will carry over into uh, when you add it to your next chart. Uh, the last tip on the list, tip number five, is simply, you know, the best thing to do is if you're having problems with your MetaTrader 4, 
and that is restarting the platform. Sometimes you know, MetaTrader 4 isn't perfect, it will get hung up or frozen, um, you know, or there'll be some small glitches. The best thing to do is just close the platform and restart it. Those are the tips that we have for you today in the MT4 Tips and Tricks white paper. Uh, if you are looking for a list of MT4 keyboard shortcuts, uh, we do also have that on the written version of this white paper. To get a copy of the written version of the white paper, simply follow us on Facebook. It's www.facebook.com slash worldwide markets and you can find a copy of the written white paper there in the list of the MT4 keyboard shortcuts. Thank you very much for tuning in today. Have a good day and good luck with your trading.